This is Victory House. I want you to open your Bibles quickly with me to Psalm 67. Psalm 67, verse 3 to 7. Psalm 67, verse 6 to 7. The Bible says, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Selah. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield an increase. Amen. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. Amen. God shall bless us and Amen. all the ends of the earth shall fear him. I thought that was for somebody. Amen. Will you say a bigger amen? amen? I personally believe that our posture affects our future. Our positioning affects our future. So, to this morning, I want to talk about how to position for a good year. How to position for a good year. It is the investment of today that will lead to dividends and gains of tomorrow. It is the investment. Anybody that wastes today is already wasting tomorrow. Anybody that toys with today has already messed up tomorrow. There are people waiting for a tomorrow to come. There are people expecting a good year and they are messing up today. They are not going to have a good year because the seed for the harvest of tomorrow is today. So what you do with your today determines what happens with your tomorrow. And that's why the word of God in the scripture that we have just read tells us how to position for harvest. Many people would have thought that the psalmist would say that if you want the harvest of maize, go and plant maize. I, I hope you also understand that the, the psalmist is not saying that you should not sow corresponding seed for a corresponding harvest. But there is a particular seed that covers every other seed. There is a particular seed that can you can put on every seed that you have sown. And when you put that seed on every other seed, it will make that seed to uh, germinate. It will make that seed to come out. In fact, I, I like to call this seed the fertilizer for every other seed. If you add this seed to every seed you are sowing in 2019, you will see them germinate. And I see you have uh, a, a, a bumper harvest this year in the name of Jesus. What is that seed? The seed is praise. The seed is praise. Several times in the scripture that we just read, the psalmist kept saying, let other people praise you. Let other people praise you. Let other people praise you. Then suddenly he tells us why he wants the people to praise him. They will have a glorious future. They will have bumper harvest. They will have a happy new year. They will have the future that they have been looking for. Because when they praise you, they position themselves. For greatness. I believe somebody is positioning himself for greatness in the name of Jesus. Now, you need to understand that word praise that he used in that scripture. That word praise is from the Hebrew word yada. It's, uh, English can be very limited. And I, and I thank God that we are doing a colorful service this morning where we are speaking all kinds of languages. But English can be very limited. You know, sometimes it's just one word. But the word that is translated praise in scripture, there are many, many words. Among them is this word called yada. Now, the word yada is really not supposed to be translated just praise because yada is an expressive word. Yada is an action. Yada is like, in fact, sometimes yada can mean to shoot. Yada can mean to throw. Yada can mean to raise. So yada is expressive. So, so when God or when this writer of the psalm was putting down this, he was saying, look, you are going to praise God expressively you are going to praise god with every emotion i know that some people come to church they want to have a regular but this admonition this morning is not that regular praise it's not that casual praise it's not that praise that you praise you stand it's not that praise that you praise and you praise god in your heart no it is the one that you praise and you sweat it is the one that you praise and you raise up your hand it is that kind of praise that will precipitate the harvest i see somebody getting a harvest in the name of Jesus. Let me run through five things that will happen as we praise God this morning. Five things that will happen. Number one, God himself will show up. Can somebody say amen? 
if there is anything you need for 2019, I know people like to strategize and all that. If there is anything you need to happen for you, is that God shows up. Because if God shows up, everything will happen for you. Everything will happen in your favor. I don't know if some of you have been into places before where you know that if God doesn't help you here, you will fail. I have been to places before that if it wasn't for God, it is failure. I know the answer before I started. But God showed up. I said God will show up for somebody. Because the Bible says in Psalm 22 and verse 3, it says, God inhabits the praises of his people. There are times you pray and you can pray amiss. But ladies and gentlemen, you can't praise God amiss. And every time you raise up a praise altar, you raise up an altar of encounter. An altar where God shows up. I believe for you in 2019, God will show up. So here this morning, when we are praising God, please understand that we are connecting with God showing up. So let your dance show it. Don't just stand there and be watching some of us dance and say, why is he sweating like that? Please join us and dance. Because later on in the year, you'll be seeing our victories. Later on in the year, you'll be seeing our harvest. In the name of Jesus. What is in praise? Revelation is in praise. Revelation. God speaks. You hear the voice of God. Can I tell you this? That the biggest selling thing in the world is what is next. Everybody is positioning for it. Sometimes you hear, oh, the stock market went down today. Why? Because they are thinking what is next is not good. Hey, the stock market went up today. They are thinking what is next is good. Everything in our economical system is anticipating for the future. And they are basing their future on experience or antecedents or on reports of, go or, 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 or organization. But you can base the future not on experience but from the voice of God. God speaks when we praise him. Sec uh, in Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 29, Isaiah 20, 30, 29 to 30, the Bible says God will cause his majestic voice to be heard when there is a solemn assembly, when there, when there is thanksgiving, when there is praise, when you raise a yada to God, God will cause his majestic voice to be heard. I'm praying for somebody. This year, on every issue of life, God will speak. Amen. His voice will be clear to you in the name of Jesus. So God is in praise. Revelation is in praise. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is in praise. We have said this year is the year of the Spirit. How do you get the Spirit to move on your behalf? Praise God, sir. Lift up. Let The Bible says in, in John chapter 4 and 24, it says God is a spirit. And they that must worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. Or they that want to engage God must be people that create an atmosphere for God to flow in. And the atmosphere of God that God flows in is the atmosphere of praise. You find the Holy Ghost manifesting on diverse levels uh, through the praises of his people. In Psalm 89, 20 to 24, Psalm 89, 20 to 24. The Bible makes us understand that we can even, fresh oil will flow out from the, from the mystery of praise. What is in praise? Signs and wonders are in praise. Signs and wonders are in praise. There is God in praise, revelation in praise, the anointing of the Holy Spirit in praise. Signs and wonders are in praise. If there is anybody looking for signs and wonders in 2019, can I tell you a quick way to it? Can I tell you a, short, a sure way to it? There is signs and wonders. That's why Moses sang this song when they left Egypt in Exodus chapter 15 and 11. Exodus 15, 11. He said that God does wonders. Exodus 15, 11. He says, we we'll like unto our God, among the God, who is like you. Glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. Or if you want to really be a spiritual terrorist, engage in praise. Because praise is a, 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 a weapon of mass destruction that you can use to destroy the devil. And the Bible says God is fearful in praise. Meaning anything can happen in praise. Today as we praise God, I see healing taking place. Amen. Today as we praise God, I see God fighting your battles. Amen. That you will show up at work and the battle will have been won. Amen. I see God fighting family battles on your behalf. Amen. I see God fighting immigration battle on your behalf. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So when we praise God, we should understand that there is signs and wonders there. And when we praise God, finally, we should know that praising God makes fulfillment of prophecies possible. Praises engenders the fulfillment of prophecy. 
God has said something concerning us this year, Psalm 91, and I, I, I declare some other things that God said to us, uh, saying that you will not be stranded, saying you will not be confused, saying that you will have all the fullness of God in 2019, in the name of Jesus. But do you know how those things come to pass? Praises. We see an example in the story of uh, um, Abraham in Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4 from verse 16 to 21. Abraham had been promised Isaac, and this promise delayed. I don't know what has been promised to any of you here, and the promises seems to be delayed. Can I tell you how to accelerate your progress to that promise? Praise sir. The Bible said concerning Abraham, he said he was not weak in faith, but was giving glory to God. And he was calling those things which were not as though they were. That means it is possible to give God praise in advance. There are some people that will praise God for 2019 at the end of 2019, but they have missed it. You can praise God before you see December because you know you will see December. You can praise God before you see the money because you know you will see the money. You can praise God before you see the protection because you know you will see the protection. So the Bible says, praising God engenders the fulfillment of prophecy. So this morning, we are going to yada. We are not just going to praise God like this. Uh, that's why we are dressed in all colorful clothes. Amen. So you can't say it's your clothes. If you didn't wear the colorful clothes, that's your, we will talk to you later on. But we try to tell you that you should come like your village prince and all of that. <laughs> you know, but wherever you are, just be comfortable and dance. We're going to have more time to dance today than normal. I hope, yeah, we are going to have it. That time is a little faster than normal. I have a time that is correct here. <laughs> we are going to dance. And the reason we are dancing is all these things that I've enumerated. God shows up for his people in praise. If there's anybody you need to show up for you in 2019, it's this God. And I believe for you, he will show up in the name of Jesus. So this morning, our thanksgiving is a loaded one. It's yada. It's like this. It's that one that you will dance. It's that one that you will sweat. It's the kind of thing that David did that he lost his clothes. It's that kind of expression. That's what you should do this morning. So I, I want you to know that you have come to a yada session. And the thing that happened with praise will happen to you. The things that follow praise will follow you. In the name of Jesus. I want you to just bow down your head this morning and tell God, all of this year, 2019, I will yada you. In my own way, I will yada you. I will praise you. I will, I will just be expressive. At home, I will be expressive. I will express the goodness of God in my life. I will express it in dance, in shout, in clapping, in all kinds of ways to the glory of your name. Father, we thank you. 